which was under the theme reconciling the rank and file of the new patriotic party in the central region brought together current and former NPP MPs, current and former MMDCEs, as well as current and former government appointees from the region leadership of the party are hopeful the move initiated by the central regional executive members will help unite the party to achieve the break the eighth agenda in the 2024 elections this is the first step and we can't solve all issues today what is important is after today how we'll be able to bring everybody on board for them to understand that we appreciate them their contributions are needed and therefore going forward we will counsel on them to also play the role that like they played in 2016. Professor Christopher Ameya Ekumfi, a former Minister of Education, also tasked aggrieved members to make peace with those they have issues with in order to deepen unity in the party. We want peace to prevail in the constituencies, especially uh, during this time when we're going to have primaries for parliamentary candidates. And it's important that we reconcile all the differences we have. Other stalwarts in the party, including Transport Minister Kweku Isiama, had this to say. Break the age, you know, it's not a fruit, but because well, if it's going to be reality, then it's like we need unity. Unity cannot only be by one person. By the issue is that we need to build everybody. And for a sin central Kennedy in Japan blamed the party losing many seats in the region in the 2020 elections on disunity and urged members to come together to reclaim those lost seats. We lost most of our seats due to internal fights and disunity. People campaigned against each other. These things must stop. It's the beginning to Surface. The MPP currently has only 10 out of 23 seats in the central region and hoping the region be a decider in the 2024 elections.